What's up everybody? Uh, welcome to another lesson in PIC microcontroller creation and implementation. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, looking at the, how to prepare our stuff, get our prints prepared and everything to uh, etch some boards. So um, this is going to be part one of this uh, series because the second part I'm actually going to be physically showing you how to cut stuff out and get it all ready to go. So this is how to get it out on paper. What I've done is I've gone ahead and um, taken our taken our uh, and added a couple of circles or quarter inch uh, diameter circles to the uh, to our uh, layout here and what that's for is those guide pins you know <laughs> yeah, excuse me if you've seen that uh, previous video um, to this one I showed you the kind of those block things that I was making we'll all be putting those together and the uh, the holes are about two inches apart on them so what I've done is I've kind of spaced these these holes out the board is effectively almost two inches in diameter so I've just uh, jumped these off just a little bit um, from either side so that way I can have some alignment holes and so um, that's basically what I've done here so now we're ready to uh, go ahead and and print this out so what we're going to do is we're going to go into our layers and we're going to get rid of everything um, that uh, get rid of all of it so we just click none it just deselects everything and all we want is the top the bottom the pads and the vias and the dimension layer so we have the outline of the board and that's all we need so now that's basically all we're going to be dealing with now to print the top layer what we're going to do is we're going to deselect the bottom out of our layers and now all we have is our top layer and so now we're going to go ahead and go up to print I'll print here and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure the scale factor is a one-to-one -one scale factor okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to also mirror it since this is the top one we have to flip it over to place it face down onto the copper so you want to choose it as mirrored okay that way it uh, it will go down onto the copper and it'll be the right direction otherwise if you don't mirror the top one then when you line them up they won't they won't they won't look right because you're flip you have to flip the paper over remember and trust me it just it just it will work uh, if you think about it it does work so anyway now the thing is, is I also want to talk a little bit about uh, printers this will only this method is called the toner transfer method so it will only work with toner printers so like like laser printers and as you can see I have a laser jet 1320 is what I use um, just for those of you that don't know the difference uh, or, or that haven't heard, or don't really know why uh, we're using a toner based printer is because um, an inkjet will not work because it's ink um, the way a toner printer works for those of you that don't know how it works a toner printer has basically this um, powdered graphite like plastic that's in it that is a, uh, it's like a powder that's in there and what happens is when the laser writes you know the image in heat you know on to the page as it's going through the printer this bar there's a bar that comes down that has this powder on it rolls it over it and that's the toner and then it the toner sticks to the spots that are hot on the paper and so then it 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 stays you know put and that's what creates the image then the paper passes through heat rollers that actually melts the plastic onto the page and that's how they work now what we're going to do is knowing this principle what we're going to do is we're going to use photo paper to print this on because toner doesn't stick real super well. I mean it, it does but then again it kind of doesn't us uh, the, the slicker the paper the the better um, but you don't have to go out and buy like HP premium photo paper or something like that you spend a whole lot of money I can I can in fact I can even show you uh, what I use uh, let's see there's my YouTube site uh, let's go to Walgreens really quick let's go to Walgreens uh, I just use just Walgreens brand photo. There we go. There it is. Some Walgreens brand photo paper. Um, I just use this. It's it's only ten bucks. It's fairly cheap. You get twenty five sheets, so pretty cheap stuff. You just get the cheapest photo paper you can find. Um, I've seen some people use Staples photo paper. Um, that works fine too. Just uh, find some cheap stuff. You don't want to use anything uh, anything expensive because it doesn't really need to be. That's just kind of overkill. But what's going to happen is that the toner when it gets uh, placed on the photo paper and then ran through the heat rollers like I said it doesn't stick real super well I mean it sticks okay but it doesn't stick real super well so what what's what will happen is when it it is we're gonna take it and we're gonna cut it out cut our our circuit board picture out and we'll place it onto copper 
and then we're going to basically heat it back up again and then press it onto the copper. And what, what will happen is we're effectively, you know, like running it through another set of heat rollers, essentially, because we're going to be pressing it onto the copper. And what it'll do is that toner will actually get where it's sticky because of the heat, and it'll stick to the copper better than it will stick to the paper. And so once that happens, then it'll be kind of like, you know, those little those little tattoos that, you know, you got as a kid when you, you, know, you stick them on your hand and you put water on them, and then you peel the paper off and the tattoo stuck to you. It's essentially what we're doing, except we're, we're applying heat instead of instead of just water. So we apply heat to it, then then we will apply water to it to um, soften up the paper, and then you can just peel the paper away, and all the traces and everything else will appear on the copper. And that is going to act as our etch resist. It'll look just like this, and that will act as our etch resist, which means we'll take and uh, once when we etch the boards, we will it will uh, eat away all the copper, but that which is underneath the toner, and so which will then give us all of our pads and our traces that we need, and then it'll eat the copper away from everywhere else. So it's a pretty slick little method. I've done it quite a few times. It works real well. So we're going to try this way. I mostly had su the most, most success with uh, single layer boards, but we're going to try a dual layer. Dual layer. We'll see what happens. So um, again, back to our print. Um, when we do this, what I like to do is, so I don't waste the photo paper, um, I'll print like two or three of them on the same page, and how I do that is I'll, see, see this alignment, you can actually choose, see it move around, where you want it to print at. And for me, I usually do, the, at least this one's the small, I'm going to do the top. And then when I print the bottom one, I'm going to say like, uh, do like the, the, the bottom, like we'll say, we'll say bottom center and print the bottom part down here. And then that way, um, you use one sheet of paper and, and you don't, you know, you don't eat up all your, eat up all your photo paper. So now what we're going to do, and so that's basically all you do, and you just hit OK, and that'll print that one. Not going to do it yet. And then uh, you come back here to print the bottom, you just switch layers, turn the bottom on, turn the top off. Now, if you can see our filled plane is an end, remember our rat's nest tool, don't forget that, otherwise it will literally print this little outline dash thing, and you don't want that, you want the actual filled plane. So you're going to click on our rat's nest tool, and that will fill that all in. And so now everything looks good. And then you'll just do the same thing, you'll come up here to print except you'll uncheck mirrored, you don't want mirrored on, and then we'll put it on bottom center. Make sure scale factor is 1, and hit OK. And then that will print this out, and uh, just take the same piece of paper and run it back through your printer again. And then that way you'll have both pictures on the same piece of paper. And that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it, how you uh, get this stuff printed out and how you prepare it for printing and everything and the type of paper to use and whatnot. So have any questions, comments, please comment. Um, I'll be hopefully shortly making the second part to this and uh, posting all of it. I'm going to go ahead and post this one. And then hopefully shortly after, I'll we'll post part two, which will be actually cutting out the paper, um, getting it on the PCB board, uh, figuring out where we're going to put it and whatnot, and then cutting the PCB board out and uh, getting it all put into the jig and ready to go. And so that's that'll be part two. So look for that and like I said, any questions or comments, please let me know.